Are you German? It's not a crime to speak German, ma'am. Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to an amazing video. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for the last few months, you might have noticed a downtick in reaction videos and an uptick of my experiences actually in Germany. I have another trip planned for next month, but we'll get into that later. Well, a few things. First of all, I had my preconceived notions before going to Germany initially. A lot of my community is like, you have to go out there and experience the culture, the atmosphere, the people. And I was a little nervous. Part of me was nervous because I felt like I wouldn't be accepted when I traveled out there. I was gonna get there and people were gonna be like, get out of my country, or you don't belong here, go back to where you're from, whatever. You know, a lot of the things that we hear when it comes to people visiting America, for instance. But it was the opposite when I landed in Germany. People welcomed me with open arms. It was very refreshing. I got to learn a lot. I got to put my German to the test. And it's been wholesome enough to the point where I keep coming back. Not to say that there won't be bad experiences in the future, but Germany had left a permanent amazing impression on this American right here. But that's where this story takes kind of a twist because a few of my subscribers sent me this viral clip and it was one of the most atrocious things I've, I've seen and it makes every American look horrible and it doesn't take much to make us look bad we do it to ourselves all the time but this one was very telling because it's very relatable to what I've been doing recently as far as traveling goes now this story I'll paint it out as clear as possible and then I'll show you the video there are these German tourists right these German tourists are taking the bus in New York City and they're speaking German amongst themselves and this American Karen lady takes it upon herself to walk up to them and berate them for speaking German. So before we start this video, we have our lovely exhibit A right here. You see this gentleman and his friend laughing and this lady who looks like she's trying to get a really close look at something. And the caption is racist Karen abuses German tourists on New York City train part one. Are you, are you German? No, so already we're off to a pretty charged start of the video she's asking them if they're german and they're like are we german or something what and it seems like her man is holding her back from doing something to them Okay, first of all, she's completely violating this man's personal space, and we need to talk about a few things. I've seen this happen more times than not, where people will overhear conversations in America, and if it's not in English, they start freaking out, right? If you're at a supermarket and you overhear some people speaking a different language that is not English, typically the response you'll get from a lot of Americans is, hey, what are you saying about me? Huh? You know, they freak out because they think it's all about them. Newsflash, it's not always about you. Not even half the time it's about the person that's freaking out right people have the right to speak whatever language they want to speak there's no crime against that there's absolutely no crime against that but in this lady's case she needs surveillance on every single person on that damn bus and she must be a part of every single conversation and if she can't understand you you are a threat to her and so she's up in his face and obviously he's very heated. So he gets up and he's tomato red. She's obviously antagonizing the hell out of him. Whatever the heck she has crawling up her butt, she could have literally got up and walked away. Gotten off the bus, hopped on the next one. Instead, she chose violence. Nice. Freeze, freeze, do not do this. Freeze, do not do this, you're gonna get arrested. I can, I can my own. So the boyfriend is trying to step in and be the hero here. And that's what we need to be thinking because she's freaking out on him. She's making herself and her boyfriend both look horrible. But the boyfriend's trying to redeem the entire situation by breaking her away from them. He's like, listen, I'll never talk to you again if you keep engaging them because they didn't do anything wrong. What is wrong with you? Please stop this, Please stop this or I'm, I'm never going to talk to you again. Stop this or I'm never going to talk to you again. Listen to me right now. 
And he made the right decision saying that. He's like, listen, I love you, but I will never talk to you again if you don't stop this. Please stop this. That's part one of three. Yes, there's three parts. So let's get into the other parts and discuss the buffoonery of this entire situation. At this particular point, what do you guys think of what has just occurred? If you travel to America and this happened to you, someone is snapping on you like this, how would you conduct yourself? I'm curious. Right now, I'll never be talking to you again. Listen to me right now. He's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. Listen to me right now. No, he's not. He's not. He's She's trying to tell him that, oh, but he's speaking German. He's speaking German. It's not a crime to speak German, ma'am. <laughs> and her boyfriend's like, they didn't do anything wrong. They're just speaking in their native tongue. Chill out. Chill out. But she's like, no, but they're speaking Deutsch. <laughs> she doesn't even know what Deutsch is. She probably thinks Deutsch is Dutch. And the boyfriend's trying to be reasonable. And he's like, dude, oh my gosh. Please stop acting crazy. You look like a crazy Karen. You are a crazy Karen. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. Listen. He's not. He's not. He's not. He was not talking to me. Listen to me. Baby, stop it. Stop it. Listen to me. Listen to me right now. Listen to me right now, okay? I get it, but just go do this. Please do not do this. Do not do this. Do not do this. He didn't say anything. He did not say anything. He did not say anything. He's having a personal conversation. Literally, bro. She's like, what did you say? What did you say? Oh my gosh, just tell me what you said. Bro, why are you invested in their conversation? They had nothing to say to you or about you. And they're very clearly trying to ignore her, but she keeps interjecting herself in their situation. And the boyfriend, good God, I've never seen a boyfriend go this hard for his girl in my, my entire life. Dude is trying to reason with her and he's like, hey, you do not have to do this. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Get out of here before it gets worse. Why is she so close to him, bro? She's so close. I can't even see his face. And the seat, the back of the seat is like not far from the forehead of her face. Why is she up in his grill like that? I know he feels her hot breath all over his face. The patience you have to have to not distance yourself from her is nuts. <laughs> Everybody else on the train is absolutely embarrassed. I mean, look at this lady's face right here, bro. What the freak? <laughs> I can't believe what the heck's going on right now. This lady truly believes, and she's dying on the hill, that you cannot speak any other language aside from English on the train, in public, as long as you're in America, you must speak English. English. That's that's her mentality. And her boyfriend's like, you need to chill the hell out. And the people are backing the boyfriend. They're like, hey, get her under control, bro. This is about to haunt her for the rest of her life because you know how the internet works. <laughs> you can't get rid of stuff like this. I'm so glad her boyfriend is trying to be the voice of reason. I hope he takes this as a sign to find a new girlfriend ASAP. And I agree with this comment a thousand percent. When you're three Long Island T's deep and someone yells out, Wiener Schnitzel, in the quiet car. <laughs> Oh, man. There is one final part to this uh, whole debacle, and we're going to go over that, and then uh, I'll give you my final thoughts on this whole scenario. So I'm an immigrant. You know I'm an immigrant, too. You know that, right? So part three is pretty interesting. The video starts off where we left off in our last episode of Dragon Ball Z. She's like, they're immigrants. They need to get out of here. Blah, 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 blah. And she makes herself sound horrible. But what the boyfriend says in response to this is an absolute W. So I'm an immigrant. You know I'm an immigrant too. You know that, right? She's like, they're immigrants, da da da. He's like, you know, I'm an immigrant too, right? And everybody's looking at her like, girl, <laughs> what you gotta say to that? So, what you gotta say to that? The boyfriend's literally like, I'm an immigrant too. So, now what? You're spazzing on German tourists because they're immigrants. I'm an immigrant too. Now what? <laughs> What did she say? Run that back real quick. Bro, she basically uses the excuse that I'm with you, so it's okay. Are you kidding me? What kind of logic is that? Huh? That doesn't make any fucking sense. That makes zero sense. So she's berating these tourists 
for being immigrants. Her boyfriend says that he's an immigrant. She's like, oh, but but you're different. You're one of the good ones. You're one of the good ones. She's like, babe, listen. You're not listening. You're the one of the good ones. You're one of the good ones. They're the bad ones. You're the good one. Like, oh. And she's like, they're laughing at me now. Girl, I would be cackling. Because you're making yourself look like an absolute idiot. Okay. It, how? How are you still going? The entire train car is embarrassed to be around you, bro. All the other Americans on the train are embarrassed. They're like, Jesus Christ, somebody get her under control. And she really thinks she's talking her shit. She really thinks she's cooking right now. <laughs> So then she gets hostile with another passenger on the train. She's like, really, like, because, you know, he's like, hey, like, if you really want to do somebody, you could hit me right here. Come on. Look. Oh! She hits another passenger. I feel like she's drunk, bro. She's clearly drunk. But that doesn't excuse ridiculous behavior like this so look at her she's smiling she's she thinks it's cool to be like this i think a lot of this is maybe this was a something she's been taught since she was a little girl that she's superior or something like that or whatever the case may be but she's acting like an absolute idiot the boyfriend's disgusted and baffled and the public is beyond embarrassed no, and she's trying to try the same thing with the passengers over there. And he's like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> and she's about to utter a statement that pretty much makes this entire situation. How about you get the <laughs> out of our country? Do not. Do not. Yeah, she's like, how about you guys get the F out of our country? Why is that high That's your job. Why is that She's like, I'll get off at the next stop, and everybody's like, please, 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 get off the train. We do not need any more of this. <laughs> Trust me, and you don't need any more of this. She packed her whole career up. She ended her own career. Congratulations. Karen, you ended your entire career over a nothing burger. They were speaking their own language and you had a problem with it. I was like, man, that's unfortunate. And I really want to know what you guys think about this because this is not an isolated incident. This happens a lot in America. And I know it happens worldwide, but in America, it happens way more than it should. It shouldn't happen at all, but it happens quite a bit. It's common for this to happen. So like I said, I turn the question over to you guys. What would you do in a situation like this? Do you think that the boyfriend handled this well? And do you think that the tourists that were there handled this well as well? They looked around for help. Everybody around them was helping them out. They're like, hey, bro, like she's crazy, dude. Like, I don't know what her dealio is. So um, yeah, that's today's topic. I know it's a little crazy. <laughs> I do have some more vlogs dropping soon, so stay tuned for that. I can't wait to see you guys back in Germany. I'll be in Hamburg in a few weeks. So um, if you guys want to do a meet and greet, show me around, say hi, chop it up. I'm all the way down for that.